The earliest hominid found in Britain, Homo antecessor, was almost one million years old and was an ancestor of both Neanderthal and modern humans. A succession of ice ages meant Britain was only habitable during the intervening warm spells. At the end of the last ice age, 10,000 years ago, Scots pine, oak, birch, hazel and alder covered almost all of Britain, accommodating wild boar and wolves. Woolly rhinoceros survived to 12,000 years ago. There were Mesolithic Stone Age people in North Yorkshire 8,500 years ago. On the south coast, evidence has shown Mesolithic tribes were trading with Southern Europe. The oak tree at Stonehenge bore the marks of 50 different bronze axe heads. Two Bronze Age barrows were discovered at Woodhouse, from which Rampart Road may derive its name. The Celtic Brigants controlled most of Northern England. Stanwick in North Yorkshire was probably the capital. Also, there were settlements at Ilkley, York, Sheffield, Tadcaster and Catherine. The Romans established themselves at York in 71 AD. A Roman ford was discovered south of Leeds Bridge, being possibly part of a road to York. Roman remains were found at Adel and Old Woodley and a stone coffin at Meckett's Park. At the end of the 5th century, as the Romans left, the Anglo-Saxons moved in. In his Anglo-Saxon chronicle, Bede mentions Leodis as a forested area in Elmet and part of the Kingdom of Northumbria. The people were Welsh-speaking Celts. Dales Peak, Penny Ghent being an example. Skyrach comes from the Old English phrase Skiraach, meaning Shire Oak, a meeting place for the Anglo-Saxon council, the Wapentake. The North was so devastated by William the Conqueror in 1070 that plans were made to recolonise it. The Doomsday Book, 1086, showed leaders having a population of 36 households and a priest. Lides was a small village belonging to the Norman Baron Gilbert de Lacey of Pontefract Castle. Henry I succeeded William and was himself followed by the Twenty Years' Anarchy, when his wife Matilda and his nephew Stephen fought for the throne. Henry II created institutions to govern, the Exchequer in Westminster and at the Clarendon Assize he introduced the rule of law to England, replacing trial by combat and ordeal with evidence-based trial by jury. He forced the barons to adhere to the rule of law in their treatment of the people. A generation later the barons forced his son, King John, to adhere to the rule of law his treatment of them. The Spanish treasure fleet was worth only one tenth of the wool produced by Spain's 2.5 million sheep. In the same period England had 5 million sheep. The wool trade was the making of England and wool was the making of Leeds.